Hey guys, Kyle from Light Sensor here. And today we're going to be going over how to add the parameter LS Luminous Length to your Revit Linear Families so that it updates automatically when you're doing proration in Revit upon export to Light Stanza. The families shown in this video are linked down below. So the first thing we want to do is we want to get the parameter LS Luminous Length into this Revit family. So to do that, once we open up our linear family, and we're going to do the fixed linear family first, we'll go up to the top left and we'll click on Family Types. And I'll go ahead and I'll create a new parameter. And this is going to be a shared parameter. And I'll go ahead and cl click on Select. I'll hit Edit. And I'll hit Browse. So I need to go ahead and go find the Light Stanza parameter LS Luminous Length. And we can do that by going to the install location of the uh, Revit plugin. We'll go to this PC. We'll go to Program Data. This is a hidden folder, so you may have to unhide this folder. We'll go to Autodesk. We will go to Application Plugins, Light Stanza, Contents, Resources, LS Shared Parameters, Dot Text. And then we'll go ahead and we'll click on LS Luminous Length. And we want this to be a type parameter because this is a fixed linear family. We'll hit OK. And then we'll go ahead and where it says LS Luminous Length, under Formula, we'll set this equal to Custom Length. Hit OK. And then we can go ahead and File, Save As. And now this linear family has the parameter LS Luminous Length, and it will update automatically when you load it into a Revit project. Now we're going to go ahead and add the parameter LS Luminous Length to an instance-based linear family. So we'll go up to Family Types. We're going to go ahead and create a new parameter. This will be a shared parameter. We'll select it, and we'll click on LS Luminous Length. Then I'll click on Instanced, whereas before we wanted it to be Type, now we want it to be Instance. I'll hit OK. And then I just set this equal to custom length. And now I'm done. And that's all I need to do to get the Alice Luminous parameter to fill out automatically for an instance or adjustable linear fixture family in Revit. 